from Prasco off the head of Miller and anxious moments there for Phil Kite. Ampadu, McFarlane, Ampadu, Ampadu once more, Jenkins has space, what about the quality of the ball in, not bad, he was looking for Pasco, Cornfall, oh what a fine response from Swansea City, the captain Cornforth is hobbling just a little bit, but what a fine strike with his right foot, and Swansea City are back in the game, thanks to John Cornforth. Ampardu was involved in the build-up, a much better ball this time from Jenkins, headed away, lovely control by Cornforth, and that was always destined for the corner. So a slightly different complexion on things, Cardiff perhaps were defending a little bit too deep, and they paid the price. Well, Cornforth could hardly stand as he struck this shot, so all credit to him. Left touch with the left foot, and what about that? Cornforth, Hazelwood. This is Jason Bowen. Ampardu, Bowen, closed down by Griffith. This is Claude. Fine effort from Claude! Magnificent effort from Claude, so unlucky not to equalise. It dipped viciously, Kite was struggling, and Mark Claude almost brought the Vetchfield to its feet. Well, this was Phil Kite's view of things from Mark Claude's long-range shot. As you can see, the goalkeeper just off his line, and he was very relieved to see this one dip, and dip just that fraction too late onto the bar. So John Cornforth is leaving, he's certainly left us something to remember him by in this game and he's replaced by David Barnhouse, the young locally born defender, so Swansea will have to change their formation or at least their personnel in the formation slightly. And it's Gary Thompson who's leaving, he's played 70 six minutes 77 minutes Gary Thompson his first match for a month and he's made a very big contribution to the Cardiff City cause replaced by teenager Nathan Wigg a midfielder now it's Barnhouse surging forward for Swansea Hodge tries to twist away from Hazelwood that's a corner so late pressure from Swansea City into the final two minutes of the game can they square the tie on the night? Hodges' corner is hanging for Harris, and McFarlane's in there too, it's still loose. Can Ford get in there, or Ampardu? The whistle's gone, the linesman's flagging, it's a free kick to Cardiff City, panic station's there. The presence of the Giants, Andy McFarlane, causing all sorts of problems. There goes McFarlane, in on the goalkeeper and Hazelwood, but the whistle went for a foul on the keeper. Swansea City then, is this their last chance to salvage a draw in this first leg? Claude will take the throw in, it's short for Ampardu. Claude, nice angled ball that by Ampardu. Harris gets there, and it's picked up by Barnhouse, Claude, and now it's Jenkins on the overlap into space, nice play by Claude, Jenkins beyond Faraday and Brock cuts it out. Kevin Brock, working hard defensively there, the Cardiff midfielder, 
Jenkins will take the corner, but there's no time for it to be taken. That's a disappointment for Swansea City. And Cardiff will take a healthy 2-1 advantage into the second leg at Ninian Park in a fortnight. Satisfaction for Eddie May, I'm sure, but he'll be disappointed that John Cornforth's spectacular goal has given Swansea City renewed hope for the second game. But a memorable night for Phil Stant. Two fine goals, the second one really opportunist, and it's Cardiff City who've won this first leg semi-final tie at the Vetchfield by two goals to one.